Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back, and uh, I am gonna talk about guild battles and how uh, I'm gonna do it and how other guilds could possibly uh, do it. So basically, uh, you have to obviously on Sunday uh, there is a basically you can sign up, right? You, you the guild leaders need to do this or the vice leaders. Um, right now, there's 17 and a half hour before uh, the signing up closes. Uh, right now, I haven't signed up yet. Um, reason being is because every member that you want to take with you uh, needs to have his defense up. And for example, Squigs is one of my top members uh, has not put his defense in. Um, that's because for him right now it's somewhat around seven in the morning. It's really early for him, so. So I have to wait uh, till we have some more people. But basically, um, how I'm gonna do it is just take the top 10 or top 20 members. I'm gonna join the 20 20 to test it out because the more members we have, more chances uh, we have to understand how the system works. So I'm just gonna go. I'm not not gonna sign up right now, but I'm gonna just select everyone and. Right now it's 17 and a half hours, so we still got some time, so I won't do it right now. But I'll just go through the list like this. Really easy, really obvious. Like if you have your defense set, I can put you in. I know that uh, this member is gonna be definitely uh, putting his defense up as soon as he's online. Uh, the thing is, right now he's not online, so same goes for first lane. I think he will do that as well. Um, also, I know that Neo Ground, for example, I, I need to talk to him if he actually has the time to play because he is, uh, well, he's been in inactive most of the time. He does play, as you can see, he's playing. It's just a question of uh, can he play on the Guild Watch, yes or no. If he's uh, saying yes, then he joins because he's in the top uh, top 20. And, for example, Rins, yeah, right now I cannot accept him in the guild battles because he doesn't have his defense put. Same goes for Kanchia, or whatever uh, the exact pronunciation. So this is right now the last member that will join. Uh, for people that are underneath, it is kind of like, obviously for you guys it's a bit like, oh fuck man, I cannot join. And that's a bummer, right? Um, I will write down uh, all the members that join uh, in the battle when I finally put in the request and then I will uh, make sure that I will make a system that the last two members the lowest two members might maybe switch out one once or twice but for example maybe new crown um, tells me he's not having too much time and then he uh, maybe drops out so that uh, they're all things that you got to think about when you make uh, the guild wars right uh, you need to make sure to uh, know your members who can play and uh, yeah for me it's just gonna go to the list who's on the top they, they get the spot first that's how it's gonna work for me because I wanna uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get in the top 50 if not the top 30 uh, to get those amazing rewards that's what we're aiming for so I need my best members uh, obviously people that are right now are on the lower end of the rankings of the guild it's a good motivation for you guys to work on it, so uh, I think uh, some of the members will definitely work on it. Um, I will make sure that I note everyone. I think this is a uh, general tip to every guild leader to write down which members you actually took with you. So you can see um, which members went with you, how they did, and obviously you can tell them, uh, okay, Next week you will be out and I'll put him in, for example. So you have everyone in the guild that can actually join the guild battles. Because I know there are some members that are uh, right now a little bit low. Um, but for example, maybe Pac-Man just didn't do his invites yet. Maybe he just has 10 invites laying around. And he could be uh, way higher. So uh, this is something that you need to think about like for example uh, where is it learn doctor he has been offline for 12 hours so he has 10 invites left so he will be a lot higher up the list when he plays again and I just think it's very important for people to know 
uh, how I'm gonna do it and I think also it's pretty important for you guys for everyone out there is that you need to respect the decisions of your, your leaders uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because I need to make a decision right I need to make I can pick 20 members uh, at max and that's it and there are always 10 people that are gonna left behind and if you do 10 v 10 there's more people left behind so the people that cannot join you either need to uh, understand why you didn't pick get picked or you need to um, check if this guild actually is for you uh, now it, it's not I know every member in this uh, list and I for example I think Pac-Man is right now the lowest I know he's definitely one of my members that's gonna be good it's just that he is not as far as uh, some of the top members right now and same for Zeltar right now he's pretty low but it's all, he, normally he's pretty high as well so uh, yeah it's uh, all about contribution guys so uh, if you get don't get picked right now don't be bummed out like if you're in a uh, guild and you don't get picked out you need to make sure that you know how it's gonna work and uh, how the guild master is gonna work on the guild battles and if you know then you can start acting on it and you can start making sure that you're in the position that he will pick you because you're one of the good members um, one thing to note I'm not 100% sure how it works but I think it's the following your defense round one you cannot use that on offense round one but you can round, you can use round two of your defense in offense it's a little bit awkward but basically what, what's gonna happen when we start the fight with a guild it's uh, the guild battle will be random but then you will see that I cannot use Draco, Darian and Iona for that first round but I can use a case as Belladon and Aemon in the first round for example and the second round I do have access to Draco the reason why I think that this is uh, how it works is because um, not, need to check where it is just a quick uh, just a quick uh, looking through where the yeah here it says the same monster may not be used amongst the six monsters positioned of the offense or defense monsters killing during battles cannot be used until the current guild will ends and the guild members that have been attacked may not be attacked again the same monsters may not be used among the six monsters positioned for the offense or defense so it says that you cannot use the same monsters for your offense and for your defense in round one and round two like you have to switch those out but it also um, I think it says something on the event page let's go there um, oh it loads pretty fast nice okay let's see guys uh, six monsters are all you need so this means this this is why I think that it is how it is the first round you put in your defense for me is that Draco Darien and Neona those monsters I cannot use in the first round of offense but I can use them in the second round this is how I think it is gonna work the reason for that is because if you need 12 six star good rune monsters there are not many people that have that already obviously there are always people that have it but I think it's gonna work like that and uh, if not that's something we will find out very soon um, also something to note for guild leaders or whatever try to make sure that you don't also something to note try not to uh, sign up too early right now there's 17 hours left for us uh, so it's maybe smarter for you to not sign up directly look at your guild for a second and see what hours people have been alive for example Squix is 16 hours he's asleep right now um, and that's really important to note learn dr 12 hours he's probably asleep right now so try to make sure that you uh, have everyone uh, close to being online because if you don't do that it's obviously not bad if people have been online offline sorry 
But if you don't do that, it could be that some of the better guild members would not just not have done their invites. For example, I'll just show you quickly. Uh, right now, I am uh, Concord 3, 2000, so I'm, I'm a little underneath uh, some of the other players. But I still get 9 invites that I have to do. If I would do all them, I would probably be in con uh, uh, sorry, in Guardian rank again. Because I'm, yeah, at 500, so that's probably going to be, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a lot higher. So that's something you need to make sure. And obviously, people will know your name and all that, so it's not going to be too hard to see. But uh, last uh, but not least, I'm just going to say to all my members, um, just a quick, if they watch it, uh, it's squigs. You need to put in your defense. Um, no, you're also fine. Uh, ooh, I, Alcugard X, you need to put in your defense. First Legend, you need to put in your defense. Um, yeah, that's it. I th there are probably more members, but uh, those three are pretty important to me. So uh, you three guys need to, uh, if you watch this, you need to uh, put in your defense. Okay, this was it for now. Uh, 17 hours to go guys, so uh, I'm excited, uh, definitely something uh, we will be going all on, and I'm, I'm going to try to film it, I'm going to try to record it, uh, how the Guild Battlegrounds in action work, so uh, yeah, I'm excited, and I hope to uh, see you guys soon in uh, combat, okay, check you out guys, bye.